Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. So, this afternoon, we have got another collaboration with Emma Mattress. Um, now, a couple of months ago, we did a collab with them and Isabel and Olivia had a new mattress. Um, next in line for new mattresses are Noah and Charlotte. So we are once again doing another collab with Emma uh, for another couple of mattresses. Um, so we've kind of, obviously, if you've been following us for a while, you'll know we moved here and we moved house in like August. Some, a lot of things didn't come with us. Some people needed um, mattresses replacing and we're, we've been slowly trying to replace them along the line. Now, when we moved in, we bought uh, Emma mattress and Emma pillows and it's honestly the best thing. It's We had such a bad mattress before. We also bought a new bed because our bed had broken. So we had just a standard cheap kind of um, memory foam mattress and it had properly worn out and it was really bad. So we treated ourselves to an Emma mattress when we moved in here and it's honestly the best thing. It's helped so much with our sleep what we can get of our sleep because obviously we do have young children so sleep is a premium anyway but it's very very comfortable believe me um the girls have had theirs for a couple of months now they think theirs are very comfortable as well their beds are like it's like just it's so lush sleeping on them so when we moved in um we also bought eva and elizabeth mattresses so as i said the next in line would be Noah and Charlotte. And then obviously the other ones come after that. But to be fair, I think Toby's mattress isn't very old. I try and make them, you know, I'm not just going around getting mattresses left, right and centre. We do try and make them last quite a long time. And I'm hoping that these ones will last a really long time because they're really good quality. So anyway, we have this one here for Noah. And we have this one here for Charlotte. So before we get this unboxed, um, I'll just let you know that Emma have got um, up to 65% off at the moment in the Black Friday sales. So if you're looking for a good priced premium mattress, then I'd go take a look because they're definitely, definitely worth it. Um, also is actually their biggest sale yet. So, you know, you're gonna get yourself a really good bargain. So, without further ado, I'm going to unpack this. Now, they've all had new bedding recently. Um, the only thing is, I'm slightly worried about, is I bought special, well, not special sheets, I bought extra deep sheets for the other mattresses, and I've forgotten to do it this time around. So I'm hoping that the sheets will be fine, but if not, I'll just, you know, I'll get some more. They're busy out there using the old mattresses as a slide. I don't know how safe that is, but I'll just leave them to it. So anyway... I am going to get on with unboxing this. Right, so that was a bit of a mission getting out of the box because Noah has got a ottoman bed and if there's no weight on it, it just flings up. So we had to keep the weight down so it didn't keep flinging up in my face. You also get a handy little tool, which we did actually get with our other mattresses, um, Elizabeth's mattress, I think, when we moved in. Um, but we've got another one. These are great. You can open boxes and everything with these, but they just slide through the plastic, so they're great. Right, so this is it. I actually think it's a different one to the girls' mattresses. Now, the girls had a, um, I'm sure they had a Lux cooling mattress, but this is a plus, so this is a Lux 
Cooling Plus mattress. Um, and it's a it's a hybrid apparently, and it's a diamond degree one. So Noah's living his life in here. So I'm gonna leave it. It says to leave it for five hours. Um, so I'm gonna leave it because obviously they come back compact, which I actually really, really like. I like the fact that they come back compact because obviously it's much easier to deliver, much easier to store. Um, it's just easier all round and then they puff up. So they do take a couple of hours to get um, to kind of normal size. And then I'd probably say um, probably another day or two before they're really properly up, but you can sleep on them in the meantime. But yeah, so it's just to leave that for five hours. So whilst I'm leaving that one, I'm gonna go in and unpack Charlotte's. Right, so obviously Charlotte shares with Eva and Lizzie's on the other side of the room. Charlotte and Eva share a bunk bed. As I explained before, Eva has uh, just not long had a new mattress a couple of months ago. So this one is for Charlotte. So we are gonna get it unpacked and unravel hers as well. All these mattresses come with a QR code at the top, um, which you can scan, not that you really need instructions, um, but it just gives you details and information about the mattress as well. Uh, actually, I've not actually looked. I wonder if they gave you things like cleaning and stuff, because we had to clean ours um, because somebody had an accident on our mattress. It's only tiny, but I cleaned it with bicarb, but I don't know if it's got anything like that, so it might be worth a look. I might have to have a look and see. Because obviously, you know, you want to keep them as clean as you can. I do hoover our mattresses regularly as well. So every time I change the bed, um, or the kids change their beds, we hoover the mattress off um, on every single bed change. Just We've got a little handheld, just give it a quick go over every single time, just helps to keep it clean. The reason I started doing it years ago is because Olivia is asthmatic and um, I'm not entirely, we're not entirely sure what triggers her asthma worse but it's kind of a process of elimination. So I started hoovering off all the mattresses every time I changed the beds when they were little. It's just something I've stuck with doing. So just a quick hoover off every single time helps to get them clean as well. Right, the other good thing about these mattresses is just bring them down is they've got a thick removable cover as well. Which so if you want to wash it. Especially if you've got little ones. You can I think you can Yeah, it says you can Oh, wash it on a sixty degree. Um But yeah, so you can take the cover off as well. I wouldn't, I don't think it's waterproof as such, but it's removable. I mean, with the little ones, not with the older ones, obviously. With the little ones, I use waterproof sheets anyway. Um, they're like the Terry Howling, the old fashioned kind of ones. Um, obviously I don't use them with the older ones. But that's that. So I'm gonna leave that for a few hours as well. Um, let's just see Eva's tiger poking out the bottom because it's got nowhere else to live. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that for a few hours as well and then we'll come back and we'll make both boats up. Right, we're back. So they've puffed up, as you can see. Like I said, they'll probably continue to puff up a little bit more, but um, we've left them for a few hours. So I'm just gonna make them up now and 
check that. I don't even know what's on with the bedding. This is going to be the test to see whether a normal sheet fits because I've been using the big, thick, the extra deep sheets. So I'm going to see if these ones fit because they are quite deep mattresses. But I, I'm hoping, oh, they do fit okay. I know that our one, our mattress, a normal sheet kept popping off the edges, which is why I bought the deep ones. But it might be that these ones will be okay. Time will tell. Do you find actually the, the cooling ones, so the ones that the girls have got as well, are slightly thinner, not thin by any stretch of the imagination, they're still like about that thick, but slightly thinner. Our one is very, very deep. Um, but I think ours is a standard one, whereas theirs are the, the plus ones or the luxury ones. So um, maybe that's why, because they've got the layer of cooling in the bottom. So that might be why they're not quite as deep. They're very, very comfortable and um, they just are, they're just really comfy. Obviously Noah, Noah's in this room on his own because, oh no, I just touched his desk. He's in here on his own because he's kind of stuck in the middle of, of girls. And obviously Toby and, um, well Toby, he, there was, we were going to put him in with Toby for, for a while because him and Toby kind of are, you know, they get on fine. But then we didn't want Joseph to be on his own. So um, for now, Joseph is sharing with Toby and that works. And Noah having his own space, that works. But obviously there's a lot more girls than there is boys. Noah is like coming up 14. So it just, it worked for now. As I said, when, when we moved in, we were talking about rooms and everything else. And it was kind of just what works at the time. Things change all the time, don't they? But yeah, so that is Noah's one done i must admit making single beds is a lot easier than uh making bunk beds see super comfortable so comfy so so comfortable right i'm gonna go and make sure it's up now too we're back in here puffed up so I am going to make this one up as well. Now. I'm hoping as well that having good, having good mattresses on the beds, you know, one day, like Lizzie's got her own bed. I'd like for everyone to have their own kind of single beds. Um, we just can't configure it all to fit in in this room but at some point you know we, we will there'll be more people in single beds than there are bunk beds um but it just it's just what works for now to be honest but you know as we replace beds i'm hoping the, the mattresses will you know stand the test of time and um we can just replace because quite often it's not the bed can be like bog standard can't it but it's the mattress that really helps it does for me anyway and get the bed in. Right, I'm going to make this up.
and comfy. Now, I will point out, I don't normally do their beds. They do their own. But for the purpose of this video, I've done them for them. Um, but yeah, I think we may have to invest in new sheets. They kind of fit, but I think they're going to pop off. So, tip, buy deep the sheets. You can get them Amazon, anywhere like that. They're no more expensive than normal sheets. Um, but they do, they are a little bit thicker. But yeah, super comfy. So yeah, that's that one done. Right, so that's it. Um, that is our newest collaboration with Emma Mattress. Um, so don't forget, there's up to 65% off in the Black Friday sales, which are on at the moment. You can also get an additional discount with our discount code, which is in the video description below. Um, so you're gonna be saving even more money, which is brilliant. Who doesn't wanna save money? So you're getting a good mattress. Comf Florence is not happy. Comfy mattress. Um, really super comfy mattress. I, was, I love our mattress. And the girls like theirs. And these guys are going to love theirs too. So yeah. Biggest sale yet. 65% um, off. Up to 65% off. And an additional discount with our discount code. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget to drop us a like. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. We always just are so grateful for everybody's support. Um, you know, without you guys supporting us, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.